Hello everyone and welcome to Prime Prospects. Nat Edwards and Cal Toomey with you. Cal, Happy New Year. You too, Nat. What'd you get up to? Oh, not much. Just a little bit of beach action. What about you? Did you? Yeah, it's been sunny and warm, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been beautiful. All right, today we're going to take a look at the 2019 NAB AFL Draft. Now, we are still about 10, 11 months yeah. away from that, but we've come up with five players to watch this year. It's never too early to have a look ahead. It's not. No, we love the draft. So we've, let's... we've forgotten last year's so yeah. past 2018, down. done and dusted. 2019 is where it's at. Let's start with Noah Anderson from the Oakley Chargers. Yeah, had a really good year in 2018 and look forward to seeing how he goes this year. He's a hard-working midfielder who plays a lot forward as well, okay. so he uses that aerobic base that he's got to push forward and create an option there. He actually kicked four goals in Vic Metro's first under 18 game of, this, of last year's Carnival. So has shown he can do it. He's a big guy. He's about 189 centimetres for a midfielder. So has the real size and strength to go and win the footy himself. But that running capacity to get up and back down the ground. So yeah, big fan of his. And I think we'll see him right at the top of the, the draft board come the end of the season. He's the son of Dean Anderson, premiership player for the Hawks and also played for St Kilda where he's a board member now. But Noah, because Dean didn't play 100 games through the club, Noah's in the open pool, so he's in a father-son free of the club. So they'll be disappointed about that. That's certainly a bummer for Hawthorne fans. Caleb oh, Sarong. Oh, and St Kilda fans. Of course. No, we don't care about them too much, do we? Caleb Sarong, another Victorian. Yeah, another Victorian. This one from Vic Country, uh, the other side of the border, I guess, in Victoria. Gippsland Power Prospect. A small forward with class, pace, poise and smarts. Played really well in Grand Final Day last year in the NAB AFL All-Stars game. Uh, he's pretty crafty, clever. Uh, he trained at Carlton recently as part of the NAB AFL Academy program. So I like him a little bit to Robbie Gray. There's sort of that small, powerful, strong overhead for his size and just really smart around the goals. So that's the sort of player that I think Caleb Sarong will be hoping to become. That's yeah, certainly exciting. What about a teammate of Noah Anderson at Oakley, yep. Dylan Williams? What do you like about him? Well, he could be the most talented player in the pool. I mean, what he showed towards the end of last season for the Chargers was outstanding, really. He kicked 16 goals in Oakley's final series. Uh, so 26 from 16 games as well. So uh, what he's been able to do across last year shows that anything's possible this year. He has to improve his running a little bit, but his high marking is really good for a medium-sized forward. He just judges the ball really well in the air. Uh, he's deadly around goal with that left foot really quick as well. He reminds me a little bit of Jaden Stevenson okay. at the same age. So it's similar sort of wiry types at the moment, but uh, I think what we'll be able to see from Dylan Williams this year is some really exciting moments. So he'll be an eye catcher for sure. All right, keep your eye on Dylan Williams. Now the Chargers, they just continue to produce quality yeah. footballers. Matt Rowell, who we actually spoke to on the Road to the Draft podcast last year, he, he certainly is a very good player already. He is, and he's a really mature kid who's someone who just wants to get the job done and gets it done nearly every time he plays. A midfielder, hard-working midfielder. He's a little bit like Joel Selwood and Clayton Oliver. I think he's someone who will drag his team across the line in many, many games in the future. We've already seen that uh, at under-18 level last year where he nearly helped. Oh, he was probably the main guy that, that sort of helped Vic Metro in that final game against South Australia. They were, the game was already over, but his performances there were really strong. Uh, he won the BOG medal in the TAC Cup Grand Final and in a losing side yeah, for the Chargers. Then, then the next week won the same medal uh, playing for the All-Stars game in the, uh, the curtain raiser at the MCG on Grand Final Day. So uh, an interesting point about him, he'll stand out. He's a really tough player, but he tucks his jumper in. So <laughs> he will stand out next year because Very of neat. that. If anybody can find uh, a top draft pick over the past few years that tucks his jumper in, I want to know. Let me know. Hit me up on Twitter or get in touch with the Rose of the Draft podcast because... I think he's pretty rare. There's not many who do it anymore. And if you also have a photo of him with an untucked jumper, I'd like to see that. There you go too. Now, the final one on the watch list is Luke Jackson, a big ruckman from WA. Not sure if he's going to be a top five pick or, or, okay. or whatnot, but an interesting story nonetheless because obviously there's a couple of sports pursuing Luke Jackson last year, AFL being one of them, basketball being the other. It was actually while he was playing for Australia at the Under-17s Basketball World Cup in Argentina. Oh, in Argentina, so uh, did that in July, and at that point realised that footy was his go. So a ruckman from WA, as you mentioned, uh, 198 centimetres, so clubs are hoping he'll grow maybe one or two spots a little bit higher, but uh, look, he can jump, he's got that leap, he's athletic, he's tough. Uh, wants to see a little bit more of the footy around the ground this year, but someone definitely to look for out of WA is Luke Jackson. Very exciting. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Of course, we will have more episodes of Prime Prospects and, of course, Road to the Draft podcast coming your way over yep. the coming months right here on afl.com.au and the AFL Live app. Thank you for watching.